as time tells, tells the man we choose to leave our legacy behind. Remind the fall of the grace at which we rise. Allow divine to speak through our mouths, say it with our chest, because no truth was ever easy to obtain. Hello everyone and welcome to the one-on-one -on -one sessions with Gogo Mosore and I'm your host Gogo M. Give you guys tips, lessons and teachings on everything spirituality. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the third clear, the third clear, which is clear sentient. The, it is called, um, what? Clear feeling. Clear sensing, clear sensing, yes. Um, clear feeling, clear sensing. This is what clear sentient is. And if you miss out on the other two clairs, please check out my last two videos. They, um, I'm going about them in full details and whatnot, so you can actually understand what I'm talking about in this video. So this one's gonna be a bit short because, yeah, it's only one page of information because I don't really have a lot on clear sentience which is clear sensing okay but let's get to it okay clear sensing is the ability to feel the presence of spirit spirits around you so you feel ne? but the thing about it is that you feel the presence of spirits that are around you Nay, you feel the presence of spirits that are around you so when you're a person with a clear with a clear sentient um gift what happens is that you could be in a room and just feel okay there's a presence in here there is something or there's someone in here with me, even if you're all alone. Okay. That is clear sentient. And this is something that a lot of people actually have. A lot of people actually have it, but don't really take much, like take it to mind a lot. Like you could actually feel a presence and just think, ah, I'm just being crazy. I'm just being dramatic. This is just how I am. But in essence, it's a spiritual gift on its own that people have, which actually contributes a lot to different ancestral gifts that people have currently. Okay. So clear sentient is um very much confused with empathy, being an empath, but they are completely different. See, here's the thing, then being an empath is reading energy of people around you okay feeling people around you feeling how they are feeling feeling how they are yeah how they are feeling i don't know how else to put it feeling their energy nay? but with clear sentence what happens is that you feel things that are in the spiritual realm you feel the energy in the spiritual realm you feel the presence of things or beings within the spiritual realm as opposed to those that are in the physical realm so that is the difference between empathy and clear sentience but what exactly are the signs that you are a clear sentient person ne? so the first one is that you get goosebumps a lot when you're in the presence of an entity ne? or a spirit so what happens is that you could be just sitting chilling doing nothing just doing your thing and all that but all of a sudden you feel a certain change in your body you feel like you're shivering or you just feel goosebumps Nay, like there's something here but you just can't put your finger to it that is the first sign of clear sentient you feel those things and you get goosebumps and shivers whenever they are around you entities and energies and spirits and whatnot when they're around you you feel them secondly whenever you are like performing spiritual tests like performing a spiritual ritual performing a spiritual thing like praying meditating and all those things you also get shivers and goosebumps when you do that because you connecting with the spiritual realm now you're connecting with the spiritual entities and whatnot and when you connect you sort of like um you'll be in the physical realm right now but what happens is that you are in the spirit you're halfway in the spiritual realm and halfway in the in the physical realm that is just how it is. So what you will feel most of the times is goosebumps and shivers whenever you are performing certain spiritual things like praying and whatnot. And one thing that also happens is that if you're not feeling shivers and whatnot, especially when you're praying and meditating, you feel like the whole room is spinning or you are spinning around the room. You are rotating around the room. And over time, you start feeling like you're no longer in that particular place that you were in. You you feel like you're in a different environment altogether. Maybe you're in a closed room that is like heated up and everything. Then all of a sudden, you just feel like, okay, I'm in a very cool place. And this usually happens when you are performing certain spiritual tasks, like praying, like meditating, like partying and all that. Okay. Number three, intuition comes in the form of feeling. Okay, so I talk about 
like intuition a lot né? and intuition is something that is very much connected with um empathy but here's the thing intuition can come to people in different ways some people can their intuition can come through their minds other people it comes through their feelings né? and with people with the clear sentient gift that intuition comes to them through the way that they are feeling so if you're feeling very emotional your intuition will come in the form of the emotion that you are feeling you could just be sitting and be like i feel like something that's gonna happen or i feel like something dangerous is gonna pop out of here any minute now that is you using your clear sentient gift because after saying that or after feeling whatever it is that you are feeling a few minutes later something does happen so sort of like the spirits were actually telling you what's really gonna happen through the feelings that you have as a person that is the nicest things about clear sentient okay um Number four, you are still prone to feeling other people's energies, emotions, and pain. So, yes, it's not the same as being an empath, but you will have certain symptoms that empaths have. And one of those things is feeling people's emotions, feelings, and energies, and also pains. So, you are, as much as you are connected with the spiritual realm, more, understand that people are spiritual beings regardless. So, their energy, their emotions, and their pains will come to you, meaning what even their physical pains, man. This is whereby this is something that a lot of healers actually experience or a lot of people that are working spiritually experience. Where longer you'll just walk towards a person or just be passing by. And if that person has a very bad headache, you tend to feel that particular headache that this person has. If they have a they have back aches, you feel that even when your consulting person could be over the phone or in person, you feel what these people is feeling. So with the clear sentient yeah, clear sentient gift, what you do is that you feel everything. If a person is sad and they're trying to hide it, you still feel it. And that is one of the major cores of all spiritual gifts that people have. People who are spiritually gifted, they are very powerful in empathy and feeling what certain people are feeling regardless, okay? And also, you can also feel the same things with spirits all together so if you are visited or you're in the presence of a spirit that is not happy you will feel that spirit's emotion if the spirit is concerned like maybe it's a lady who passed on and this spirit like she passed on having not said certain things as in people and she worries a lot you will feel the worry that this spirit has né? and the tricky thing is that whenever you encounter this kind of things you end up believing that those emotions are yours when they are not yours, when they are emotions of the next person or emotions of the spirits that are near you in that particular time, the pains that they are in, the emotions that they are in, everything, even their energy. Because if you encounter a very negative spirit, you will attract or rather feel the negative energy that is moving around that particular spirit or that particular person. Okay. Number six, if I'm not mistaken. Or number five, ah, man, guys, I don't know. Okay, you have multi, you have a multicolored aura. Okay, so there are people that can actually see your aura. I did talk about um clairvoyant people. Those are people that are spiritually gifted in seeing spiritual things. And one of the things that they can see is people's auras. Okay? This is where it gets very interesting. So with the people that are clairsentient, they clairsentient, they will not be able to see their own auras but people that are clairvoyant will be able to see their aura and one thing about their aura is that their aura has multiple colors when other people can have like a white aura or a red aura or a blue aura yours will be multiple colors you'll be like a freaking rainbow is moving around you all the time so these people have multiple auras meaning they have a lot of um because auras sort of like entail or sort of like point out different characteristics different abilities different like a lot of different things that a person has so when you have multiple auras it means that you have multiple i want to say multiple personalities but you know yeah in a way something like that in a sense né? so you have multiple colored auras né? and um the other thing is that people these people tend to have a lot of anger so they have a lot of anger issues and this is mainly because of the things that they are feeling the emotions that they are feeling that are not their own the feelings that they are feeling that are not their own, the energy that they are feeling that are not their own. This is whereby it's so important to protect your own energy as a person because when you don't do that, you'll find yourself very angry because of the energy or the 
presence of something else or someone else near you and the thing about it is that you can't really see it with your naked eye so you just feel it and like i said you will tend to confuse that with your own feelings and your own emotions and end up being very angry as a person because of this thing so these people have a lot of anger issues man and another thing is that the temperature changes a lot with them so these are people that one minute are burning up like it's like right now it's hot guys we all know that it's hot like crazy here at home so what happens is that we are all feeling hot but these people will feel hot one minute then the next minute they are freezing they feel cold they feel like they feel like like a cold breeze of air has just been blown at them and they just need to get a jersey on them as soon as possible Another thing is that they are too emotional. Nay? But it's actually understandable. When you're dealing with so many emotions and so many energies of other people feeling it and not even knowing how to keep yourself from it or not even, and not even understanding the fact that this isn't even your own energy, you will be very emotional. So these people are very empathetic naturally, okay? So when something really bad happens, these people will feel awful. These people will be sensitive to a lot of things. They will cry a lot. They will watch Titanic over 20 times and cry every single time Jack dies. You know, it's just that thing. They are very, very emotional and very sensitive people naturally. So you can't even shout at them in peace. Like... You guys, you can't shout at them shout at them in peace. Like you just shout at them and they start crying, you're out here looking like the bad guy. And they started it. But it's fine. <laughs> and lastly, their mood changes a lot. Okay, so with energy, energy affects everything. So if you're very happy and you encounter someone with very bad energy or very yeah, negative energy, then obviously that negative energy will be drawn to your positive. And at the end of the day, you will start projecting that person's very same emotion. So at the end of the day, your mood will change constantly. So these people are very emotionally unstable. Their moods will change constantly depending on where they are how they're feeling who's in their presence what kind of spirit is amongst them and all those things anyways that is it with the clear sentient people and um yeah i'm gonna take the next video like right now the clear cognizant gift is the last one that we're gonna touch up on and that is a video that you guys are gonna see next week i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a beautiful 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 day and a beautiful january tokosani bye bye as time tells, tells the man, we choose to leave our legacy behind. Remind the fallen of the grace at which we rise. Allow our divine to speak through our mouths, say it with our chest, cause no truth was ever easy to obtain.